So this shot was for, I think this was for the last year's photo annual, it was the 2012 photo annual, it was um, for page 33, so we've been doing shooting page 33 for the last 10 years and I think, I think I've shot about 38 of them now, which is uh, quite a good collection of them over the, uh, over the years. I chose this one, just to, it's a real simple image and it's got to work across a double page for our magazine, so it's quite a nice one, the, um, Sophie's amazing and we managed to shoot a couple of shots and I think the video that goes through it. Just all worked out perfectly for what we needed for the magazine. The day was the day was really cold. I remember it being winter, and um, Sophie, who's a legend, she she was totally fine to jump in in the water. And I remember being so cold myself in the water, so I can imagine how cold she was. But I think that's what you need as well when you're working with someone is like someone that's totally down to do what um do what you're after and sort of have a vision of what you want. So she was great, and uh, you can tell in the shot where it did end up looking looking how we wanted it. Um, I don't know if I really had anything in my mind when we first went there to actually what we shot, but we just shot two options on the day. There was a cool, the, um, the diving board looked really cool, so we sort of shot that option, but then we also jumped in the water and tried something different with the underwater as well. So I think overall we ended up choosing the, I think we ran both shots in the end, but um, the one that sticks out in my mind is the, probably the one on the diving board. It's, um, just came out, everything was natural, there was no lighting, there was no retouching needed and everything looks exactly how, how it should do I think and that's exactly um, with the photo comp I think that's what we're looking for is an image that would run, that we'd want to run in the magazine so the girl looks amazing, technically it's well done, it doesn't need to be highly retouched and so I think people need to research the magazine and realise what we do. We try to keep it pretty natural and sort of with the whole flow of the magazine so that's what we're after.